Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Arm wrestling for big, strong men! I don't have a clue. Alright, but it's gotta be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't coming. let anything happen to her, sir. I'm going first. I'm going to get my body back. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified hero. Hey, Marshal, I'll be back for you. Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with blade once. That's the kind of man who's idiot. mean enough to be second in command. Thinking he's going to survive. <laughs> nope. -uh. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Yeah, dude, we're going to fucking kick headed? all these guys' Tumbleweed, ass. Lonely God forsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. That was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. 
Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pass. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. Oh, yeah. How is this best supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Yeah, Deke. Man, hey, shut the fuck up, Deke. You stupid punk ass. You whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. The boys will be getting that smoke in, I bet. <laughs> you think you're a man, do you? We're almost there, Deke. Almost there. Don't worry, my boys yeah. know how to treat a lady. Deke. Come on, boys! Over the bridge! I'm telling ya, it's gonna get worse. Norman Dick. This is the location. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, Come on, Norman deep. Dick. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm faster. sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play I with. said faster, buddy. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. What was that? What did you just say? Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so hard. Get oh, fucked. Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. Where's Bonnie? I don't trust it. You know, I mean... Get fucked. Come on, boys. I thought you had my Bonnie! Where is she? Bonnie! No! Oh, those sons of bitches! Come on, I'll take all your bullets! I'll take all your bullets! I'll take all your bullets! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Can't run away from me. Can't run away from me. Get really fucked. I'm coming, Bonnie. No one can hurt you no more, bro. Homies for life. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, yeah. Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> what? <coughs> Bonnie, you're just... No, never mind. <laughs> She's so casual about it. What the heck was that? We saved Bonnie, guys. God bless her soul. I'm gonna loot these bodies and then we'll move on. Alright, so we're supposed to meet up with Seth. Let's go see what this guy's doing. <coughs> oh. 
Okay, heard Seth is an important man, and he's digging up dead bodies. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? Look at me! Look! Scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Horses are over here! All right, buddy. Okay, your horse is definitely as skinny as you. Come on, Seth, let's go on uh, Digging up grave. Okay, we're going off the trail. I'm following you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Oh my yeah. god, he's so fast. <laughs> Holy crap. Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> Seth, shut the fuck up. Uh, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Okay. Well, we're gonna get your map back, but let's not talk about what's in your caves. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't oh, put out. Oh, Marston, calm down! Marston, stop! Stop! My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. Fly! Fly! Blow it up now. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. 
Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Okay, what is going on here? Hello. I'm just gonna skip the cutscene. This is one god awful We're going. Bow! We stole a horse. We got four forty dollars. We got forty dollars and are we're almost done being wanted. I'm gonna turn around slightly because I know for a fact we're gonna lose them. I'm gonna head back over to Seth. Yes, 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 yes. We'll find your map. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! He was, like, totally calm, I know it's Seth. And then second when he took a look at him, he's like, nope, fuck that. Seth, you have some serious problems. Slow down for me, buddy. There we go. Get down. Damn you! Let me go, I'm begging you! Easy. Give me the No! Get off the horse, man. There we go. Just name your price. Name my nuts, dude. You hear me, Moses? Mine. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah, then I'm going to Cut you uh, up, uh, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never uh, cut into a uh, live one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Ugh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on, ain't no time is to he wait. still tied up? Yeah, he is. Move, Seth. I'm gonna get my pardon. Hello there. That crazy Mary sweat. Will this clear my name? This hair is a fresh start. Don't do nothing foolish now. I hear they... Ugh. Oh. So... Mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Aha! Now we're gonna go to talk to... Uh, Wes Dickens. You fucking kidding me? Honestly? Wait, so we have a choice between Mr. West Dickens and Seth. We're gonna go for Seth. I'm sorry, I, I like that. <laughs> Mr. West Dickens is like, he, there's so many missions with him and he's just, all he wants you to do is stuff for him. Then they're not even that fun. I mean, there's a couple fun missions with him, but the, the, the majority of them is just you fucking, doing racing and stuff like that all right let's go talk to seth sethy my boy 
Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 you got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the okay, best Okay, Seth. Can't wait to get my hands Let's on go. these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling that treasure's around there somewhere. You are some something else, man. Left. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends. Back Don't here. worry, they won't see it. We're covered up. We're, it's Where just a little shortcut. Don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. Damn it, Mister! Crowd of people. Oh, oh, oh that's Armadillo. why you didn't want to go through Armadillo. Oh shit! Dude. Yeah, I can see, I can see, I can see. I'm just I'm I'm not uh... Oh he's so fat! He's exorbiting the bullets! Uh oh. Oh, he got money? Head left at this turn. Where's the money? Where'd you put the money? Dude, I'm getting good at this. Oh, over the bridge. Over the bridge. Don't. Oh my god. Mister, I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, Mister. Uh. Perfect. Oh, he gave me ten bucks. He did give me the money. He does care. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, Why is he digging up bodies partner? again? Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. <sighs> Let's look According for the treasure. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Uh oh. Dubious as they 
looks, I figure they must be. Oh, I you so clean, there'll be nothing left for the buzzers. Damn brave robber. Believe me, mister. I'll help you. I promise. Devil, oh. Come on. Where is he? He's in here somewhere. Here he is. I found him. This is going to be one hell of a massacre. John Mars, and then I don't know what to say about that. Come on, we gotta go get up to the mountain. Oh, I got five bucks. I guess we're climbing over this. <laughs> Dude, there's stairs right over there, but whatever. It's locked. Let's try around the back. Do we have a shotgun? No, we don't. Because I feel like we're gonna be up close with these guys. We're in luck. Uh. Christ alive. No, don't kill Seth. Oh, I got it. I got an achievement. What did I? For what? I am, I am. Dude, stop. Put a fucking muffler on your car. <laughs> Hate this. Finally. Seth, watch out, there's a gun! Sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister! <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Okay, then. It's a glass eye. At least the gun didn't go off in his face. Jesus, that would be bad. All right, next mission with Mr. West Dickey. And it's a racing. We're gonna be racing. Yay. Oh. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, 
is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. <laughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> Let come. Let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. Now, sir, do that to breach. <sighs> Gap Tooth Bridge. Here we are, John. Gap Tooth Breach. All right, let's go start the race. Grabbers! Y'all know the rules. But for you newcomers, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the faster cart pass. It's a nice looking wagon. Y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right, now I don't know if this is a wagon. Three. Oh! We got it. We got it. We're in the front. Turn. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Everybody. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back up. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, is that great guy okay? Oh um, no, no. Everybody. Everybody. Get out of the way. Shit. Oh shit! No 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 no! Oh shit! Really? I did? No! No! Please! No! 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 Oh come on! All right. Well, we'll just cut this part out, guys. And we're here. We made it. Finally, we beat the race. God, that took forever. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower and for that you need to contact an old friend of mine goes by the name of irish irish yes uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow um, he usually can be found in uh, armadillo or some other town around here on some bacchanalian revel or such uh, great an alcoholic arms dealer what could be better okay <sighs> Three dollars? Got, got him! Okay guys, that is it for today, and I hope you did enjoy. Lights out, everybody. 
You totally missed it. You're shooting at the wrong thing, man. No, you're shooting, you're shooting at the wall. Roast! There we go, lights are out. Time to go to bed, guys. It's your bedtime. Nighty night. Good night.